Guys, what is up out there on YouTube Fragrance Land? Thanks for joining me here again on my channel, Stephen Sturgill. I am your host for the next several minutes, and we're looking at a very special fragrance today. One that uh, a couple of the, my online peers have turned me on to. Uh, I'm trying to think for sure. I think one of them was, I think Mark from Mark Robes 08, and maybe the guy from Gent Sense. <clears throat> um, anyways. Looking at this guy, and it is a tiny sample of Andy Towers Tower from Switzerland. L'air du désert marocain. So that's, uh, you know, uh, Moroccan desert air uh, in English, uh, more or less. This guy was rated five stars by one of the major European uh, perfume critiquing houses. That is not given out lightly, man. And let's talk about what makes Andy Tower so special. Um, if you go to Andy Tower's main website of towerperfumes.com and go to the About Us tab, I'm going to read a little bit about this, what, he's, what they say, what he says. Uh, first off, uh, they make he and they, his team, they make all of their own perfumes there in Switzerland by hand. Uh, you get the tins with the, with the sort of uh, hexagonal uh, bottles, beautiful, beautiful colored glass, custom fit to these tin boxes that fit exactly to the bottle. He personally, Andy, autographs each and every bottle that leaves his factory in Switzerland, which is just mind-boggling. And um, he's had a blog uh, that he's been running for at least 10 years now. Where he talks about the the craft of perfumery and the daily ups and downs of running an artistic perfumery house i highly recommend that for anyone remotely interested in learning about the ins and outs and the daily aspects and blending and different things like that uh, for example he says um here at tower perfumes we make all our samples of fragrances by hand in switzerland are you new to tower and our offerings we invite you to discover our fragrance using our sample program for instance, by choosing the Discovery Set, free shipment, five samples in glass spray vials for a great price and a nice tin box to carry your samples with you. For a more intimate look into niche perfumery, please visit my blog. And for quarterly updates, please register for my newsletter. A little something about Andy Tower, quote unquote, you need absolute freedom to create beautiful fragrances and you need time and the best ingredients you can get. That is the true mystery, how to create thrilling fragrances Andy Tower 2010. And then he goes on to say, I never studied the art of perfume making in a school. I do not compromise when I deal with perfumes. I invite you to test my fragrant sculptures, luxurious and rich, such as Rose Chipre, or evocative, such as my five star Air du Désert Marocain. And you will believe I am purely self taught, started my venture 12 years ago in Switzerland, and sell my fragrances worldwide. I am 12, 100%, excuse me, independent and follow my taste and instinct. I consider perfumery as an artist and craft, and I want to stay connected to what I create. Okay, it goes on and on, and yeah. So um, this perfume is unisex, as, our, as I believe either are all of Towers, or at least the vast majority of his scents, I believe, are unisex. Um, and he's done just a truckload of variations uh, just offhand. Let's see. I believe he's done around 40, roughly, uh, scents to date uh, that I know about or that I, that I see here paginated uh, and delineated um, on the different, you know, you know who they are websites like Base Notes and the other guy. Uh, but this one here, let's get into the notes and talk about it just a little bit. This dropped way back in 05, and I say way back, it's not really that long ago, but then again, it's 13 years ago. So, <laughs> well over a decade, approaching that decade and a half point, it's just hard to believe that time is flying this quickly. This is very highly rated on the different blogs and websites, uh, garnering on average somewhere around a four and a half out of five, broadly speaking. A lot of lovers out there, a lot of ardent, hardcore Tower fans out there. Uh, again, the bottles are so distinctive. 
uh, so extremely geometric, just what I call a pure geometric shape uh, with a very sort of odd, plain looking little square or slightly rectangular uh, caps. Uh, really cool, very cool look. And, and again, that blue sort of blown glass look, you know, with the, you know, with the uh, hexagonal um, or penta pentagonal. Why am I saying hexagonal? One, two, three. I meant to say pentagonal, the pentagon. Uh, <laughs> they are five sided, not six. I don't know what I was saying. Anyways, um, so what can we say about this? Well, what is it supposed to give us? It's supposed to give this air of the Moroccan night desert air, spicy oriental, uh, some wood, some vetiver, some ambergris, um, some rock rose, some jasmine. Uh, it's got, there, there's definitely some animalic, there's some green, there's some woodsy aromatics. Uh, so at any rate, we're supposed to get things like Let's see, what does that say? Coriander. Oops, uh, get off there. It's blocking me from looking at the thing. Some comino or cumin, some petty grain. Oops. Some lavender. You get your floral aspects from lavender and jasmine. Okay, something on my site is, I mean, on my computer is running really slow. I don't know why. Birch. We get some cedar, of course. We get some vetiver, I already said that. Uh, amber or ambergris. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. I thought this maybe had some nutmeg in it. I'm not sure. It has oak moss. And geranium. And some patchouli. So we get that little desert patchouli kick. And it does have labdanum, uh, or, or it is believed to have labdanum. Uh, I'm not sure if that's official or not. So let's get into it without further ado. I do not want this video to run too long. And I do not want to spill this very expensive sample juice. Here we go. Oh, wow. That is, that is very fragrant. Oh, my God. That is, woo! Wow, that is, oh man, wow, Whoo! man, there is nothing cheap about this, guys, this is not your drugstore cheapy, okay, I'm, I'm getting immediately just that blast of vetiver and cedar, the ambergris, some lavender, some geranium for sure, what else? Some, uh, let's see, some cumin, some petty grain for sure. Coriander's coming through. The labdanum. It's funny, it has a sweet, I, I'm definitely getting the oak moss now. It's just, it's spicy, it's rich, it's fragrant. There's almost like a little hint of like, not honey per se, but like something darkly sweet, uh, almost like the leftovers of like a caramel brulee, but without the gourmand, uh, overly sweet aspect of it. Like if it were just, uh, I don't want to say dumbed down, that's not the right way to say it, but if it were just sort of... Mm, reduced and, and dried down uh, that that aspect is in there along with the floral component uh there's an almost slight essence of ginger because of the different interplay of the geranium and the uh, the cedar and the patchouli there's also a very very light hint of incense it's very very mild but it's there nonetheless oh wow let me just take a little dab more. Get it on my pulse point a little bit. And there's almost something like, again, along with that ginger, almost like a white pepper or a pink pepper accord. It's probably just the, the interplay of the geranium and cedar, I'm guessing, along with some of the labdanum and the, um, 
petty grain and oak moss. It's really all of the notes combining along with the vetiver. The vetiver here, guys, it is definitely a quality, uh, classic smoky vetiver. Wow. Very rich, very, very niche for sure. Uh, having said that, having said all this, um, it's still not my, it wouldn't be my go-to dream blend. Um, I'm sorry guys, I'm part Italian and part French ancestrally, and I just like classic macho, uh, you can call them simple scents if you want, but I like those classic macho powerhouse 80s type uh, colognes that just kind of uh, facetiously sort of indicate either a Wall Street broker or, you know, a rich mafioso or, or a guy that drives a 911 Twin Turbo or a Ferrari especially or a Lambo, you know, a Lamborghini. I like those macho, like think Miami Vice, think Crockett, think Tubbs, think Testarossa, you know, just powerhouse fragrances that just are just absolutely macho and make no excuses about that. But Having said that, I just realized this has a, an animalic leather component that is absolutely not listed in the uh, uh, notes. It's probably an interplay of the coriander, comino, or cumin, along with the uh, um, the rock rose, jasmine, but especially uh, blending with the uh, patchouli and the uh, the ambergris. So you you get that. Uh, animalic funky little leather notes this this really does have a little leather note in there that I was not expecting it's very well done it's very very exotic uh, it's definitely high dollar screams high quality and niche all over the place get your nose on this guys but do order a sample like I did before you go a whole hog while these are affordable they are not cheap at all I think Andy's uh, I think is I don't know if they come in one size or not but I think they will set you back around 250 to 300 bucks uh, for the bigger size uh, don't quote me on that but I know for a fact Boba they ain't cheap so if you got to ask you may not be able to be on a budget to afford this but uh, it really is exquisite Again, it wouldn't be my dream scent, if, if that makes sense, and no, no pun intended. But then most frags aren't my dream scent uh, either. So I'm not going to not recommend something because it's not my dream scent, but I will give this a recommendation if you like something that is exotic, fragrant, woodsy, spicy, oriental, with an strong animalic, slightly leathery component, with that smoky vetiver, little oak moss in there, you've got your ambergris or whatever, your amber. Uh, it's a woodsy oriental aromatic. Uh, there's really no fruit components in here whatsoever, but there is sort of a little hint of stuff like an ambery caramel brulee, but just at the very, very base, not in a gourmand sense again. Uh, get your nose on this, guys. It's fantastic stuff. Uh, just because I'm not falling in love with it as my go-to scent doesn't mean you might not. Uh, you might love it a heck of a lot more than I am loving it. But I'm certainly appreciating what it brings to the table. And it screams absolutely niche, uber high quality, absolutely sparing no expense uh, with the ingredients. So that's going to wrap it up. Thank you for joining me today, guys. And we'll see you next time on my channel on the YouTube if you like, subscribe and click the bell, please, for future updates. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Spray often, spray well, live life on your terms, not someone else's. Peace.